My last game of rugby. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I'm going to say yet. <laughs> the guy will test you this. The last game of rugby. We played together international back row against Trey Herbert. Wilson Roder. Is that right, guy? Me and I. We raised money for seven and fought a lad who broke his back in a motorcycle accident. And they hadn't seen me play before the press. And they asked I, what did he play like? And I said, he did his best. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he had said, I hadn't played very well. <laughs> he did his best. <laughs> and all I've done, lads, ladies, Inviting the forward for this remarkable man, this definitive working class hero. In writing it, I've tried to do my best again, guys, for you. <laughs> and I, I want to write, read the last bit, and it's very strange that I'm sitting next to Di Parker there. I well, know that I have a very special relationship. And we're talking about the game that Di, the both Di, played against New Zealand. Ethan Abraham tried to play against New Zealand in 1973 when they lost 43-4. And I wrote, they didn't leave the score at all. I can see this lad there, they've taken those, the score, but the proper score, but they they've taken the plaques down. They didn't leave the score at all. And we chipped in for a reef. Neath blamed Abraham. <laughs> And Abba <laughs> Some there blame the linesman. Some blamed you and I. We all blame the committee. But no one there blamed. <laughs> uh, and I'll finish with what I wrote. Because it meant a great deal to me to say exactly what I feel about this. <coughs> this legend of Welsh rugby that you keep the rigors and English are so proud of. Perhaps, perhaps, there have been more celebrated rugby players in the history of Welsh rugby. Some perhaps you tell me, perhaps there have been more celebrated rugby players in the history of Welsh rugby. But none, none that are more respected than this gentleman of rugby who is affectionately known to all as Dan. A shy, unassuming person who gives us all at all times and asks for nothing in return. He is one of the most genuine people I've ever met, which is why I admire him more than any other player I know. The respect, the respect in which he's held by so many people and players is testimony to the character and honest way he played the game. That respect, that respect is something that has to be earned. It is not given easily or freely, as afforded only to the fitting.